Hello everybody, this is Math with Josh. I'm Joshua Phillips. This is a super quick math info video where I explain a concept very quickly. In contrast to most of my content where I'm focused on conceptual understanding and depth, we're just going to say how to do something. Uh, today's is prime factorization. So prime factorization is the process of breaking a number down into a product of primes that form it. So for today we're going to use the number 24. First step is we need to find a factor of 24 or a multiplication problem that gets it. Um, I'm gonna, I, the first thing I know is it's an even number. So we're gonna do 24 divided by two. We know this is one, bring the two down, we get a zero, bring the four down, two. We see that our answer is 12. So we realized that 24 equals two times 12. Now, after you break it down, if either of the factors is prime, you circle it, and then break down the other factor in the same way. So 12 now becomes, you know, so I realize that 12 is 2 times 6. You have to find a multiplication problem. In any case, 2 is again a prime, and 6 we realize is 2 times 3. 2 and 3 are prime, so we can circle them. And our prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. You may also be told to write this as 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 1, meaning 3 2s multiplied times 1 3 multiplied. Another big thing to note with prime factorization, and there's, there's just sort of a process of finding the steps you have to do. You have to find a multiplication problem that works or a factor and then find out what you multiply that factor by. So you, if you went to prime factor 24, you might have first realized, oh, that's four times six, I remember from my times tables. And then you see neither of these two factors are prime, so we have to break them both down. Four we realize is two times two. Six we realize is two times three. These are all prime, so I'm gonna draw some circles around them. And we'll notice, no matter what order you go in, this is not a proof, but this is true, no matter what order you go in, you get the same ultimate answer, in this case, 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 1st. So once again, this is Math with Josh. If you'd like to see another video in this series, please comment. I will try and explain anything I know in a super quick format, ignoring my usual depth. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful night.